Why don't we do something, huh? Yeah, but what should we do? Go down the slide again? I've got it. Why don't we try playing some sports? Great idea. It's been a long time since I went running, swimming, or done any exercise at all. Why don't we have a mini Olympics? We could create a track and compete against each other. Whoever wins will get crowned with a laurel leaf crown and will get a gold medal. Milo, you're the best. What a terrific idea. But you can't participate. You've got a sprained foot. Don't worry about me. I'll be the judge and Talala will help me from the sky. We'll get everything ready and then tell the others. Dear competitors of the first Happits official Olympic Games, the rules of the game are as follows. First, you have to run one lap around the track. Then, you must swim in the Olympic swimming pool. And finally, you will have to jump these hurdles until you reach the finish line. Talalo and I will be the judges. To make sure that none of you will cheat, and I'm talking about you, Rita. Today, I promise not to cheat very much. What do you mean, not very much? You cannot fool us, Rita. Understood. No cheating at all. The judges will be watching, and if we see any cheating, you will be eliminated. Nobody likes a cheater. On your mark, now everybody gets set. Ready? Go! What an action-packed race! This is going to be a hard-fought battle. They've already run more than halfway around the track and are approaching the finish line. Mumu looks like she's the fastest up to now. She's got a clear advantage over the others. Olga and Alfred are even, and Rita is in last place. Now they've got to dive into the water. What a great dive by Mumu! Such style! Rita is quickly catching up with the others. They're reaching the end of the pool, and they're arriving all together. Who will win? Who will win? At the first hurdle, everyone is even. Third hurdle. Oh no! Mumu is tripped and has fallen behind. Alfred is in the lead. But what is this? Mumu is catching up at full speed. Yeah! <laughs> oh. 
and they reached the finish line. It was so close that we don't know who won. Everyone's exhausted. I won, I won, I'm the best. Rita, we need to see the photo finish to see who won. As soon as it's ready, we can see it. Here we go. And the winner of the first Happits official Olympics is... Boo Boo! I'm the best of all. The fastest, the strongest. I'm the most incredible cow in the world. I'm the most tired cow, but the winner. When are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. <laughs> Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, Mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? 
We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind me, Lo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there? So we can finally get some sleep. Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is. We still have to build the treehouse, don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a treehouse so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? 
Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah! on, quit crying and help us finish it. Yay! for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alfred, quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm going to go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. <laughs> 